Hey guys, Troy from Wash right here. Um, another Saturday morning in at the office. Just finished building another new wash right truck. So I'm gonna run through with you guys the truck setups that I guess I'm building in 2024. And I guess I'll show you what we do and explain why we do it. So this is a truck here, um, new build, heading down to Wellington in a couple of weeks. So it is a Toyota Toyo Ace truck, but let me spin the camera around and I'll show you what I've done with it. Okay guys, here it is here, just about to get sign, writ sign writing put on it tomorrow. Um, as you'll see, we do all our own sign writing in house. So tomorrow it will get all the logos and wrap put on it. But as standard, Galvanized racking system, 1,000 litre IBC. I think it's a 300 litre chemical tank on that side. Two 390s, two Comet RW 5530 pumps. Standard Helena galvanized Dava stacker hose reels. Water supply hose, two pressure hoses. Up there is gonna be the water fed pole system which will be mounted to the truck. The only other thing to add to this truck when they come available is a remote downstream injection unit, which will get mounted just basically here for this pump. Uh, this pump here is your standard downstream injection washing. Um, nothing really different with that pump. This one over here, as you will see, there is a three-way ball valve just there and this pump can either decide to pull water from the IBC or pull chemical from the chemical tank. The chemical tank's primarily used for uh, doing moss and mold roof treatments and we do pump the chemical through the pump. The pump's set for about 600 PSI, 700 PSI at the moment and the chemical does get uh, pumped through the pump and then once we're finished, we just turn that ball valve back to the other side and it will flush the pump out. A uh, couple years ago, I transferred away from using 12 volt diaphragm pumps like the Fat Boy. And I also tried the uh, gas powered diaphragm pumps, the Comets, the ARs. I tried the booster pumps. And my personal opinion, uh, they're just a fad. They're a waste of money. They're just there for the people who sell them to you to make money out of them. Um, we get 18 months out of that Comet pump, pumping either sodium hypo or the benzo through it. As long as we flush it out, we'll get at least 18 months out of that pump. And I don't know what you guys pay for a pump, but I can get one of those pumps cheaper then I buy a fat boy pump. Now that said, I do buy those in bulk. I do buy them um, probably a hell of a lot more than most people, but that pump um, is the way that we go. Um, again, it gives us the ability to house wash with that pump if there's ever an issue with this one here, or if we wanna have two people working off the same truck, we can have that one dialed back up to your standard pressure for downstream injection. It does have a downstreamer on the hose reel, just like this one here. Now with all of our trucks, we always build these days, aluminium drum holders underneath. So at the back of each truck, that there can hold two 20 litre drums. Um, in the bucket is just the absorbent kit for filtering with filter socks. So we have one drum holder there and we will have another one down here. We just have to basically have some chain across there so they don't bounce out. Again, like all of our trucks, guys, um, when we give them to a franchisee, they come full inclusive. Big extension letter, A-frame letter, four traffic cones, surface cleaner, you know, standard window wash equipment. Um, battery powered backpack sprayer. That's basically it guys, there are truck builds that we're doing for 2024. Um, 
you know, not a lot's changed over the years. I think we've got a system that works well for all the jobs we do. We do do a lot of commercial compared to most um, other people in our market. Um, so, you know, probably half our trucks now we're replacing one of the 390s with a 690 and an eight gallon per minute pump. But that's basically guys, 2024 type of truck we build. Um, if you have any questions on why we do stuff, um, more than happy to share it. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos over the next probably six months on builds that we're going to be doing in Australia. So we, have, we are launching our business in Australia in the next couple of months. So we will be building um, trucks and utes over there for franchisees over there. So I'll roll out a series of videos on what we're gonna be doing over there, how we're gonna be doing it, but it's not gonna be much different to these trucks with the work that we've already got lined up in Australia and the contracts over there. Um, it's pretty much gonna be very, very similar to this, except every truck will have a 690 and an eight gallon per minute pump and a 390. So any questions guys, just let me know.